Good evening. Welcome to the Templeton Recreation Committee. I am Jessica Sutton. To my right, I have Aaron Davis. To my left, I have Derek Sutton. Next to him, I have Joy Tainter. And on Zoom, I have Candace Grace and Chris Lotting. The Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States. All right. Our minutes from November 8th. Did everybody get a chance to look at them? All right. Chris, did you look at them? Candace, did you look at them? Yes. Yeah, I looked at them. Okay. Yeah, I make a motion to approve the minutes from November 8th. Aaron? A second. Joy? Yep. Yeah, I have a problem. I'm sorry? I have a, I, yeah, um, I have a few issues with the, the minutes. Okay, what are they? I don't know, it just keeps on cutting out. Um, apparently, um, uh, David is, now works for the town of Templeton and he's a website manager. Yes, we talked about that last meeting that he was going to be yeah, the one to. Work for the town of, yeah, he doesn't work for the town of Templeton. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. yeah he's going to work okay. on a page. Yes. Page. Yeah. The town of yeah. Website. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Doesn't mean yeah. How was it written? Yeah. So it's written as he's now our town of Templeton website manager. Yep. So he's the rec committee person that does our part of the town. It's just the wording. I didn't read that as he worked for the town. No, I, I, I don't either. I didn't either. Okay. So do we want to change it's it? it? It's it. Like if you put quotes around town of Templeton website, or if you just substitute with the actual website address. Okay, we can do that. Or you could say that he's, it's, the rec, it's the rec page. It's, it's not the town overall website. It's the uh, rec page, the commission page. Okay, we can get that fixed. Yep, okay. All right, anything else, Candace? Um, I think that's all I see. Oh, well, it says sponsorship update, and then it shows the vote for Joy, so that there's nothing for the update that's listed there. It just says it next to her name, so I don't know the purpose of that. I don't either. But yeah, and then there is um, the fact that the meeting is on um, Wednesday the 17th, and it says at the bottom it's, it's um, November the 16th. Didn't you get the second time, the second page that yeah, that's, I that's been updated. issued today? Yeah, updated minutes were sent out, I believe. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, and I looked for a few of the. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't pick up on the date part, but it was corrected. And my name is spelled with a Y, like and I'm next to the candy cane. Okay. With a candy cane and handing out the candy cane. I'm sorry. So how is it spelled? C -A you, you, I would probably put Candace instead of my nickname. I'd put Candace C A N D A C E. I mean, if my nickname is C A N D E E, it's not candy like it means. So. All right, so these ones are the old ones. This one I feel like is okay. Oops. Hmm? Okay, so I can make a motion to um, accept the minutes as amended. A second. And I just had one more. I just had one more question. 
Um, did we miss the hours that says 8 a.m. to 8, 8 p.m.? Is that what, because I don't remember that the sign, I don't know what the sign said. I don't remember it. Saying yes, that. I listened to it twice more, and that's oh, sort yeah. of. Okay. And there's, um, how much done? There's a, and you corrected the budget 2013. I didn't see the updated version. So the FY budget 2013 mm -hmm. line where Jackie explains her duties and to help with the budget and the 2013 budget is 2023. Yes, because that's a, that's what they were talking about on TV. That there was Jackie explained her duties and will help with our budget and the 2013 budget. And that's what's in the Last it's 2023. Week. It's the FY 2023 budget. 23. Yeah. Next, we're going right now. We're we're. What are we in? 2022. Oh, yeah. So we're going to 2023. That's what we'll be discussing later. Oh. Okay. I think well, that's it. I'm sorry. I don't want to nitpick, but I mean, it's it's it's, it's not. Those changes can be made. All right, nice catch. I think that's, that's all, I think. all right, so can we get those amended? Yeah, yeah. Joy, yep, Joy took the <laughs> notes there. Yeah. So there. I make the motion to accept the meeting minutes as amended. A second. A third. I'm sorry, Aaron? Yes. Joy? Sure. Candace? Yes. Chris? Yes. All right. Um, how about the, we neglected to uh, do approve the minutes from July 19th, 2021. We did? Yes, ma'am. Does, does anybody have them? When is, what is it? July? Okay, on the it was our first, it was our first meeting. Um, it was a brief meeting. Um, basically, we voted for uh, Jessica. Um, I think uh, Jackie may have a copy of it, and um, it's it's very it's not very much of a meeting. I mean, it was our first one. We were doing our officers and stuff, but um, my name was spelled wrong in many of the things. So every, the next meeting, when we had our second meeting, um, we had discussed and I and that we had never moved over to it, and um, and I don't remember us voting on the third time either. I know it says that we it was approved, but I don't and I don't recall call it actually being. There's a correction and my name was never corrected at the time. Okay. And that would have that had a letter it had a letter N in my name. I think I was like Candace. Hey, Hand. It was the first yeah, meeting, yes. so it's it's, un, it's understandable, you know, it being the first meeting. But um I think that if we just clean it up and just and I don't remember us doing a role for it. So if we just cover it and just redo it, I, I think that would just, you know, just to make sure. I don't think that, um, you know. Do you have the meeting that's in front of you? Can you send them to us? Uh, I have um, the meeting. Um, um, August 9th. No, we're doing some July. Okay, I mean, I, I think I Jackie has a copy of them. August 26th. Mm -hmm. it's not, uh, yeah, July. it's, um, it starts, it starts, in attendance is Jessica Sutton, Derek Sutton, Chris Lottie, Candace Gray, and Joy Painter on Zoom. You are on Zoom. It could, and that you were having a hard time hearing some of the meetings. Candace, um, do so you some of the, have them an email? Can you send them to us so we can all take a look at it and maybe we can vote on those next meeting? But none of this, none of us have them in front of us right now. Yeah, I, I can. I, July 19th. Yes, yeah, so I think if we approve those meeting minutes, it has to be on the agenda if we if we decide to yeah. do it in a public forum yeah. like this. So let's get it on the next agenda for next meeting right. and uh, go through it. Uh, yeah, because um, we can't approve Aaron them at this meeting, to, right? To, uh, yeah, Aaron was, wasn't even a member of the committee at the time. All right, so let's move on so. to basketball. So for basketball, for we have 28 kids in the six to eight. Now, this is just we still got a couple more trickling in, so this is just a brief overview of what we have. We have 28 kids in sixth to eighth grade. We have 53 kids in fourth to fifth. We have 52 kids in second to third and 36 kids in K to one. So we have four teens for six to eight, six teens for four to five, 
six teams for two to three, and four teams for K to one. So I think that that's pretty cool. I'm okay with that. All right. Great number. Yes, ma'am. Um, you have 21, 28 kids in what number? That's another room down Oh, good. Thanks. All right, um, as of right now, I'm not sure if we're going to need an additional day for the younger players until all the teams and everything gets set up squared away. Um, and then for sponsors, we actually have quite a few sponsors um, and everybody is paid up. I wanna say we have 17. Well, we want to get 17. <laughs> we have 12 sponsors right now with 20 teams, so we need a couple more. Um, we need somebody to send the thank you cards out. Does anybody want to do it? Um, I can do it. All right. Erin will send out the thank yous. With, with those sponsors, they, they included the three that I um I dropped in. Yes, ma'am. On Monday, with mm -hmm. the call cop. Okay. Well, can I get a list of what we have for currently for a sponsor, so that I can yes. make sure that we properly thank them on Facebook? Yes. Thank you. All right. What did she say? She's asking if she can have a list so she can properly thank them on Facebook. That's not a thank you note. We could put it on Facebook. No, Aaron's going to send a thank you card. Oh. But we told them that we would yeah, right put them out on Facebook. Social media is good. Okay. And then Dave's going to put them on the Town of Templeton website. All right. Um, the soccer financials, I believe we went over that last week. Yeah, do we need any more clarification or are we all set with that? Uh, Chris had asked for. Chris, did you ask for details on the um, soccer financials? I think he was joking when he said you had a spreadsheet. Okay. <laughs> no, I just didn't know if you sent it out. Yeah. You want to send it I mean, out? If you just if you send it I, out, that's fine. I think. Yeah, I we can. I sent it to Jess. She can forward it to everybody. I don't have everybody's email address, but. Okay. All right, I can do that. I also sent it to Dave, and he will be posting that up on the website also. He already has. Oh, good. It's already on the side. Yeah. Is that enough detail, do you think, Candace, sir? Yeah, I think it looked pretty good what he put. I think, um, yeah, I was just like, uh, I had never seen, like, the first time I had seen it, I was like, whoa, I, we we're really transparent at first. But, um, yeah, he did a good job the way he put it up. It looks good. I didn't, I didn't know the numbers were going to be put up like that. I thought it was more going to be like a doc, but it's actually the way. So I, I gave him some pictures and he has the pictures up if you press uh, click soccer and then it shows um, and then it shows at the bottom the uh, details on it the way he has it. Awesome. Like yeah. All right. All right. The ski program donation. Does the rec committee want to donate to the ski program to help with the cost of transportation? We talked about this last week. Mm -hmm. um, so I will start with Aaron. Aaron. Well, Starting with Aaron. I believe I. Oh. Aaron, I'm, I'm asking Aaron. Aaron, would you like to donate to the ski program to help with the transportation? Yes. Derek, would you like to help with the ski program? Yeah, we're gonna nominate. that put the motion on it there. Though. I'm asking. Oh, uh, we're just talking about it. Yes, yes, I think it's a good idea. I think we should wait until next year and have it on before they start the program. Um, I do know that the girl in Gardner every year had to run fundraisers after the school program because they had nothing. They were given nothing at all. I think I think next year we want to try to make it part of the town. I think of, we should. Part of us. Yes, um, definitely. For this year, but I think in order year, for her to get the kids to yeah. the, the mountain, they do need that extra help for the busing. Yeah. Either that or do fundraisers afterwards right. with the, the ski kids and their parents. And I feel like if we don't help them, then kids won't be able to go skiing. I agree. Well, I think you're right about that too, but I just feel that the money that we have raised 
should be going for the athletes or the athletic things that we have going now. Um, it's an awful can expense, I, can but. I? Yes, go ahead, my turn, yeah. Um, I would yes. like to say that the money that we raise belongs to the, the residents of Templeton, for, regardless of what, you know, is there. Um, and um, this is an activity that is um, athletic. And um, I feel like uh, it's a wonderful opportunity for our town to be involved in, to be active. Um, I also feel that um, we, we did do a tentative vote on it um, to, to, um, to say if the town allowed us to use um, the funds as a donation process, if we are able, if that's something that um, our department or our commission um, is capable of doing, you know, that's something that was cleared from the town that we're able to do that from our funds. We've made um, a good headway with the soccer and, um, and everything that we've all been through for the last year and stuff. I think it's a very positive thing in the community for the town to be able to support something wonderful like the speed folk club. Um, and it is very pricey for buses, and, and I'm sure there's quite a few families that are starting to feel, you know, the effort in the crunch of what's going on um, with gas and so forth. And uh, if we have the opportunity as commissioners to help out in any way to help costs, I understand that people, a lot of people that are doing ski, it's very costly, but a lot of families, they will set for that budget because they love that program or they love to ski and they will stay for it all season long so their children can do it. And I think we have a great opportunity to help and reach out to our community. Um, as commissioners, um, we have this opportunity to help out and that's how I feel. Okay. Chris, what do you think? So I'm kind of leaning more towards Joy's camp. I think, uh, you know, we raise the money for the have the money for the programs we have so i think we should try to use that money to reach the most amount of kids we can to provide programs right so if this is on the list and we already satisfied the things that are at the top of the list right we had, we're all stocked up for on equipment for soccer basketball all mm -hmm. those things and this is the next thing on the list and i think we should do it but i don't know if we should you know it's a big investment for a small amount of kids right Okay, well, I heard from Adam, and we can vote to use revolving funds to donate to the ski program for transportation. We can give them $1,200. Yeah, and I think from a, a budget perspective, Chris, um, we are going to be good for basketball, and we'll still have some money left over that we can do this with. That's I mean, if you think it's, that's the best yeah, if you if we think it's the best use of money to get kids to do programs, then like I say, I'm all for it. But like I said, it's got to be prioritized, right? Get the most kids first, and if this is the next thing on the list, let's do it. If there's, we have higher priorities or competing priorities, to to I say we take care of those first. You know, we need soccer nets, we need goals, we need stocking up on equipment like that. If that's all taken care of, you know, softball equipment. If that's all taken care of, and this is the next thing, then I'm all for it. Well, this, I believe this is going to be something that we'd be doing right now to help them out. To the yeah. No, I understand that, but we're only talking 20 or 30 kids. And if, if we, if we're going to fall it's short on softball equipment or something that's hitting, uh, yeah, 20 or 30 residents, but if we're going to be short on softball equipment that has, you know, 200 participants, then I would vote against it. Right. Mm -hmm. If we're good on all those areas, then we should do it. I mean, our basketball program, uh, the sponsors are going to be paying for the shirts and the masks. Okay. So I feel like with, with how many kids have been brought in for basketball and what we are doing, I, I feel like, um, I just feel like that. We, and I also believe that we voted for this. We voted this on the contingency of last meeting that, um, if, if we was clear that we could do this, we just, we voted. And I don't think we week. should you. I don't think we should supplement other programs with, funding from basketball right if we're if we already have those things i would be in favor of if we already have those things for basketball shirts and masks and all that stuff then lower the price of basketball for those that participate i wouldn't be in favor of turning a profit on one sport to put it in another coffer to serve a subset uh, of people of course the money would be coming out of our donation account our revolving account, account. Right, but that's where all the that's where all the funds for all the sports go, right? So, 
I'm looking at that we earned eleven hundred and twenty dollars from soccer, right. so we're taking so soccer more money more and putting it into that account, that, right? Right. Go ahead, okay. Recreation is more than than a sport. It's 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 about it's about the parks. I mean, we're going to beat probably the parks. I mean, but we're, it's the parks. It's it's arts and crafts. That recreation has always been more than just sporting. I understand events. that, but it's demand driven. So to spend twelve hundred dollars on twenty kids. I don't know if that's the best interest of the program, right? I'm saying if we can meet, if there's other expenses or other priorities where we can give activities to more kids, I would vote for that. If that's all taken care of, then we would, then we should spend this money on the 20 or 30 that are interested in skiing in the hopes of building out that program. That's when, we took, when we took over, we no, had, I already money. know we already voted for account. And um, soccer obviously paid for itself. So we do still have some money left over in the revolving account. Uh, what we're getting for registration fees from basketball is going to cover the basketball season. And I think we'll still be uh, all set to uh, pick up the stuff we need for softball uh, after basketball. So I think, um, you know, as far as from a, a money standpoint, we do have the money to support this. And where I think we're good with everything else, it's probably a good use of the funds to uh, help support the community. All right, Jackie. Um, I can definitely see the, the, you know, the strengths on both sides. I think um, when Lindsay was here, kind of talked a little bit about the out years. So maybe if you are going to vote in favor of this donation, I would make a caveat that it's this year only and that they shouldn't be expecting that sizable donation every year that next year we would be collaborating with fundraising. Okay. So it's totally up to you, but I see Chris's point. Yeah. The number of kids. I like the collaboration of fundraising for, for next year to help them out. I, I, like I said, I've looked into this program and um, YMCA recreation um, um, programs have get um, preference, um, get some um, discounts to the families and the people in your res in your community um, to go skiing. Um, so it's not like the recreation department won't get any kind of benefit from this to, to benefit other children and other families too on top of that. And, it, and if we can do fundraising and stuff, maybe there's a child that's always wanted to uh, ski in our community. Um, and we could probably, you know, doing some kind of fundraising and helping her with her efforts. I mean, having the name, the rec commission um, in the town it is I've, I've discovered that when I've gone out to help out with soccer, uh, um, I've talked to a couple of people about um, uh, sponsorships and stuff, you know, people in this community really want to help out and they really like to see the kids out there being able to um, get active and do the things that they love. And skiing is a, is a thing. I understand it's an expensive sport. But there are lots of talented people out there or people who just love it and want to give it a shot. Um, and people will, they will have a jar or something in their house and they will save money so they can get ski passes and stuff. And I think that this is a great opportunity and we have the means to do it. So, I mean, in everything we've all been through last year, and we didn't have any programs last year. I mean, I think this is not, the way to it need to, have to happen next year. Okay, so I would like to make a motion to donate $1,200 from our revolving account to the ski program, just one and done for this year so that the kids can start going skiing. Aaron. I second. You second that, Derek? Yes. Joy? Yeah. Chris? Uh, no. Candace? Yes. All right, so that's one, two, three. All right. So we have five yes and one no. Hey, can we, when we, if we, 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 do, we do it, um, we can mention that, um, that we would like to, um, you know, come up with something to help, um, you know, if she, if a fundraising on our end, because I'm seeing the recognition or something for next year, but this is a one-time deal for this year. Like Jackie had mentioned, do we need to do a motion on that or something like that? Yeah. That's what Jess said. She like said, send a note. Jess had said, this one time. Enough, I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's one time and yeah. then we'll work with them. I just want to make sure. I want to make sure we did it right. That's all. Okay. That sounds good. All right. So for the fiscal year of 23, budget guidance, 
Um, when the new parks and rec legislation is approved, it will give more operational authority to the commission regarding the use of the fields for programs. The commission will have more authority to work directly with DPW for the work on the fields and the grounds. Um, so Jeff, we have a, Candace wrote up a mission statement. Did everybody have a chance to look at it? Oh, okay. Chris, do you have anything you want to add to this or take out? I don't know if I got that. Did I? Did it? Was that sent to everybody? Maybe I missed it. I just answered right. the email that Jackie had sent sent out. She had sent us an email that asked us our, our stuff, and I thought I didn't know if it was like homework that I was supposed to send back a response. And that's, that's what I had done. Um, I just wanted to mention about the parks and recreation. It, it, it has gone, I believe, is, is it gone to the, it's gone to the, how do you say it, floor? It's been referred to the Committee on Municipalities, is what I'm being told. Am I on? Yeah, okay. So it, it's moving. It's moving faster than, than um, I guess it's, 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 go, it's, go, it's in the stages, the, um, our, um, the thing that we voted to at the town meeting. I have some information on it I can send to everybody. If anybody wants to follow, I guess we can follow along on how the progress goes with the, the, uh, the park part. I think we can use the word educational. But again, I just, I just, I just want to go back to, yeah, the back to the FYI 33. It was just, she sent out an email. I answered it. That's what you're looking at. It's just my ideas of what the questions were um, and on the paper that we're supposed to do. I think this is like a working thing. I think we're all supposed to just chip in and, you know, work it down and see what we're supposed to, you know, to give Jackie to send back to the, um, okay, to the um, wherever this goes. Okay, regarding the parks and rec um, legislation, um, <clears throat> at the, your last meeting, um, Chris brought up the question, how can we work on the next fiscal year budget if we don't know how that legislation will affect right. our your commission? So I talked to Adam about that and he um, he gave me that language that Jess just read. Um, it, he didn't anticipate when the legislation is officially passed that it would really affect the rec budget because we're still going to be working with DPW to take care of the field. So he didn't think that was a, a concern when you okay. go forward. And this narrative is something that every department has, um, well, every unit has, and the rec hadn't, they never had one before. So it is, as Candy said, something I just was hoping to get everybody's input to put something together so this can be part of our budget uh, proposal. Are you able to send this to us in a um, format where we can make our own personal changes and each individually send it back to you? And right. Well, I sent everybody this, and it's kind of like a blank template. Um, it, it was probably called narrative, recreation narrative. Um, and Candace sent back her um, her thoughts. So. This this isn't bad. I just skimming through it. But I would like to see Candace. Can you send a, a word version of this so we can make some edits to it? Um, I did it in um, the uh, Google Docs. I didn't do it in Word, word when I did it. Um, Google Docs. I can I can try to figure out. How to, yeah, I can send it in that. I can I can send it back to you. I I, I, I like the other wall here. I think there's a couple of minor edits that need to happen, but yeah, I I mean. Yeah. I mean, I, I like I said, the, the, I thought I, I, I tried, I had over the time that I've started being on the commission, one of the first things I knew was that we would probably need at some point is a mission statement because that's what you see on all the other recognitions. So I had always been tweaking it and playing with it. And I know, and I don't know. And that's the first thing that I think, I mean, I didn't really know what Jackie or what everybody, how it works for the tenant, like the department description. I didn't know if it was supposed to be each job, like like the chair and so forth. And because that's what I did, did what I did bylaws. So I didn't know if it was like that, or if it was a generalization of the actual rec commission itself. And I didn't know what it was getting at. I mean, I understand like I the, the, the mission statement is something we probably could do right now tonight to decide if any of those wordings 
Um, and then the FYI goals, the goals are something we probably could discuss because that's something that we probably should discuss as much. Actually, but how we put that, that middle thing, Candace, I mean, yeah. All right, Candace, we're gonna table yeah. this, the mission statement and such, so that way we can all put in our two senses and edit each when, other. When, and Jack, see, when, when, does the, when does the town need to have back our, our response to this? This has to be in by the close of business on December 15th. On December 15th? So I would suggest everybody, I will send you um, a copy of the libraries just so you kind of have an idea of what needs to be in there. Yeah. And then I would suggest everybody kind of throw their ideas in and you try to meet before the 15th. Okay. So that we can put it together and we can submit it. Are we allowed, can we form like a, maybe a subcommittee or something? A three of us or three to get this and pass it back and forth and get it hammered out before the meeting and then bring it to the meeting. Cause I don't do. think, I mean, I don't find it too efficient to do it like this. You know what I mean? You wouldn't have to be on camera. Um, no, cause it would, we would, according to open meeting laws, right. We wouldn't have a quorum. Right. So we just take a subset of two or three people to, to work it out. Right. And then bring it to the rec committee meeting at the next time that we can pass it back and forth an email. Right kind of and work it out then you're going to be right back where you started you only do half of us and there's a bunch of stuff that the other half doesn't like that's why we're right having back. them do so that's why we have a committee yeah a subcommittee i don't know so candace a subcommittee really know. come up with kind of what their recommendation yeah, is. yeah i know what it's i know i know i know what a subcommittee is it's a recommendation i get that but if, if only certain people are on it and other people have other opinions about things and then you go to a meeting and then you know you get still have to get all the votes and stuff and if, this is this is big this is a big deal this is this affects our budget our budget was cut last year um, and we and it was an increase it was in, it was increased it was increased the year before if you don't know and I've been, I actually tracked our budget, our budget for a department over the last. So I don't think, I don't think dealing with it like this is very efficient. Is there another way to do it besides the subcommittee? I'm open for anything, right? I like the there, subcommittee idea. Me too. I, but if there's I, something else, then. <laughs> I like the subcommittee. I personally think that we should do the subcommittee and then whoever is on it sends their stuff out and then whoever has something to say can send it back and then we can come together before the 15th and then we can hash it out. But hopefully before the 15th, everything would be hashed out. Correct. That is what I would like to do. I think that makes the most sense. So I would like to do that. Can I put a motion forth to do so? And okay. nominate people. And nominate people. Well, clearly it's gonna be Chris Lottie. <laughs> um, I would like to... <laughs> I would like to um, make a motion to build up a subcommittee so that way they can work on this. Aaron? I'll second it. Derek? Yes. Joy? Yes. Candace? No. Chris? Yes. All right, so the next thing would be who is going to be on the subcommittee? Chris. Besides Chris. <laughs> I nominate Chris Lottie. I second. Aaron? I'll, uh, I'll, I'll agree with Chris. Okay. Joy? Yes. Candace? No. Okay. Um, Aaron, do you want to leave? I'll be on the floor. Don't All I right. get a vote? <laughs> I'll sorry, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll nominate Aaron. I'll second Aaron. Joy? Yeah, definitely. Why, why do we have to have? Because we have to do it for everything. Mm -hmm. I know. Candace? Are we still on the subcommittee? Yes. We're, we're not voting to nominate people. No, I, I voted no for the, I voted no for the subcommittee, so I, I'm just going to abstain from the subcommittee vote. Chris? Yes. All right, so we need one more person. I vote to nominate Jess. I second. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> so it'll be Chris, Jess, and Aaron. Yes, do you do you support me? Yes. Definitely. Chris? Yes. All right. And Candace doesn't want to vote. David would have been. David would have been good. Guy. Would, 
Yeah, I don't know if he's available to do it though. I hate to vote him in if he can't do it. Oh. It's just that the cut line is December 15th and you have to get together and do all that stuff. And with the holidays and stuff, that's why I was a big fan of subcommittee. Well, we can get it done, and we will get it done. This is our budget. This is this is our, this is this is what we're putting in for our budget. And this yeah. is it's just a mission budget. statement, right? This is a little sample of what it's they say. Just a mission statement. No, this is this is they, they this is what this is this is like us presenting ourselves to the town. The, right. Uh, the so what's the problem if we're having a subcommittee? What will go on the warrant? Yes. No, I didn't say the problem. I said it's just a lot. It's just a it's a lot. Well, then we'll handle it. We'll do it in a short period of time. All right. So I don't see any other way to get it done by the 15th. So, uh, are we done with is, yeah. Yeah, we're done I have with a hard that. stop at 645. Yeah. Okay. So now, um, new business, we have an open meeting law complaint, a, a complaint was filed for missing, miss, ugh, missing meeting, meeting minutes in that three times fast okay. online. Um, and the committee needs to appoint someone to respond to this complaint. So, I vote to nominate Chris Lottig to respond to the complaint. You know, I would second that. Derek? Yes. And I, yeah, no. I, I yeah. vote that Jackie does it. This is very, this is very important. And, um, so Chris, and, um, Candace, do you, do you vote oh. for, want Jackie to do it? All right, Chris, would you be willing I would, to? I, I would not, I would like to nominate Jackie to do it. I think it's, I think it's, I think it's, um, there's already a nomination um, that first. So does it have to be someone from the committee to do it? It has to be a member or Jackie. I feel like Jackie has a lot on her plate. Yeah, I'll do it. It should be easy. I'll do it. Okay. Yeah, it's not, it's okay. It's not that it's not that easy, okay? I'm gonna tell you right now. It's not that well, easy. Well, Chris has been dealing this with this. Plate is not that easy. Easy. No. Yeah, this plate is not as easy as you think. This isn't just us, okay? And it's important. I mean, it's not just us. Right? It's a complaint to our board. It's just us. I'm responding for the rec committee board, right? We're With representing us. And, yes. and the, thing is, yes. the, open, the open meeting, the open meeting law complaint by by Robert yes. May on 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 November eighth, two thousand and twenty one. To have yep. to, we need to respond to, to him. Plus, we need to respond to the yeah. Massachusetts Attorney General office as well. Yeah, you're going to do that. Chris and Jackie are going to do that. Chris is going to do it with the help of Jackie. And, and Chris is the vice chair. And so Chris, I, yeah. Well, yeah. that's what the motion, the motion wasn't said that. The motion said that Chris is going to well, do it. it, didn't say, it didn't say yeah. <laughs> All right, so- I'll do it, I can do it. Thank you, Chris. All right, so. Easy peasy. Chris, it has to be by Tuesday. Tuesday? What day is <laughs> You're fine. Yeah. Well, yeah you're the man. All right. <laughs> so, Jackie, you're going to reach out to Chris. With that out to Chris All right. All the All right. So, before we close, I would yeah, like. Do, do, do we, do we, wait, did we make, so we made, so we made a motion to designate Chris to work with Jackie to officially respond to the open meeting law complaint by Robert May on November 8th, 2021, to have it said response sent to Robin me. May. And, and Mass General General Office, and we got yes, a second, and we did a roll call. Is what you're telling me? Because I, I didn't, I didn't do a roll call on that. No, I thought you said no. I'm sorry. No, I didn't say no. We didn't do a proper roll call on this, and it you wasn't did. properly. Jackie's yeah. name wasn't properly put into it in the motion in the second and the roll call. And this uh, is a complaint yeah. to the meeting. Um, meeting I and I like, just feel like we need to actually. Yes, we did it. We're moving on now. So before we close, I would okay, like to, so, uh, I'm talking. Okay, so. I would like to recommend that we. Oh, I thought my mic was off. I would like to recommend, I think that as a rec department, that we should, since we have kids that have been with us from like kindergarten all the way up to seniors, I would like to be able to give a senior who's either worked with us, played with us, rest for us, give them like a little something as like a thank you for like a scholarship, so to speak. I would also possibly like to have a little scholarship program for kids who want to play and their parents can't afford it. I would like to, but they won't even admit that they can't afford it. 
Some some people are too prideful too. I think we know. Well, not I don't think we know, but I mean you kind of know who. It would be done quietly. Yes, did very very discreetly. I, I can't. I can't. I, excuse me. I got to say this one more time. I'm going to tell you right now. We didn't call proper, proper role on finishing up this complaint, and I feel like we need to do that because the complaint is about not us not doing the proper thing. And this, this could come. I'm just telling you. I'm just telling you. Please. December 13th? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Does that work for you, Chris? I think so, because then we'll have to approve the mission statement and stuff, right, and get it yeah. into the town, so. Yeah, we can hash all that out. Candace, does the um, 13th work for you? We'll see, the week is up. It's a Monday. I think that's it. It's a Monday. Okay. And what time? I would assume 6 or 6, sorry. Can we do it? Actually? Six is fine. Six is fine. Six. Okay. Okay. Good. Is that what you Yeah, I think it's yes. fine. Yes. All right. Our next meeting will be Monday, December 13th at 6 p.m. at the town hall. 
And so maybe we can commit to getting out that mission statement by the week prior, right? And attach it to the, yes. you know, so everyone can review it so we can discuss it and we can attach it to the agenda on the town meeting. So if there's any public comments as well. That sounds like a great idea, Chris. I'm on a roll tonight, oh, yeah. Jessica. <laughs> are we still? Oh, are we still? Are we still? If we still, if we're doing the um, candy canes, on, are we still doing the candy canes on the first of December as well? When is when is it? The fifth. I think it's like I think it's like was it four? We did, yeah. Four we did. Yeah, candy canes. Okay, I I I. Somebody told me and I forgot again. It's a bird. It's like a four four thirty. I'm scanning correctly. Oh, no. That's when they have the lighting of the trees. Yes, Mr. Apple. The lighting of the trees. Oh, five. It's a Houghton Park at five fifteen. There'll be a Houghton Park at five fifteen on Sunday, December fifth. The lighting of the trees. You might want to think about handing out the candy cakes prior to the parade starting because it'll maybe still be kind of bright. Uh, what time is the parade? We think with, it's a, with that, with that start. I don't know. Storms over here. All right, Candace, I said that I could help you and I'm, be I'm, I'm not going to be able to. Yeah, I, I'm available any anytime and what if it's four, if it's three or whatever on December 5th. So as long as we find out what the time is, I can, you know, okay. figure out. Just, can just tell me where to drive to what location I need to be at. All right. Well, if we don't have anything else, I'd like to close this meeting and make a motion. End the meeting. All right. I yes, second sir. the motion. Yes. Chair. Yes. Joy. Yes. Candace. Yes. Chris. Yes. All right. Meeting adjourned.